News Service. Well, it is a glimpse into the future in Columbus. This morning, the city's first self-driving passenger shuttle took its maiden voyage. Our Will Uick was there for the low-speed start to what many hope was a new wave of driverless cars in the state. We've had an ambition to deploy self-driving technology in our community in a shuttle setting. There's a new way to get around Columbus. It's really exciting. It's something we've been wanting to do for several years, and it feels like a really significant milestone for us to reach today. These cars have sensors all over them. They can see in every direction, and so as they drive down the road, they're tracking other cars. They're, they're making predictions about what other people are going to do, and they, they drive accordingly. Using local and state money to get rolling, the Smart Circuit Shuttle has a fleet of six cars, with three in action at any given time. They run a mile and a half loop, making four stops about every 10 minutes at COSI, the National Veterans Memorial and Museum, Bicentennial Park, and the Smart Columbus Experience. We think a lot about what the right routes are for the technology today. And so there's some routes like on a freeway or where the congestion is very high that wouldn't be a good fit for the technology. But this route is one where we can do a lot of good and do it safely. We think that this is the perfect convergence of a location to connect residents and visitors to the area destinations, but also to expose as many people as possible to the technology. The shuttles top out at 25 miles per hour. They're currently operating seven days a week here in Columbus from 6 a.m. to 10 p.m. Inside, the ride feels just like a normal car. Four seats here in the back, one more up front, along with an attendant that's there to answer any questions for you, tell you about the stops, as well as able to take over controls if needed. We will eventually reach the point where we don't need a fleet attendant to monitor the vehicle systems at all. It's a small step, but an important one that Smart Columbus sees as just opening the door into the future of self-driving public transportation. This is our start uh, to deploying the technology in the Columbus region, hopefully in the state of Ohio and places like Cleveland. In Columbus, Will Uick. And around the country.